All right, guys, I'm back here with part two of my Thomas Wooden Railway 2009 yearbook review. So we left off with uh, the deluxe sets here. I just described that. Now we are getting ready for the bridges and tunnels. And um, so this is new. It is called the 401 Mountain Crossing. And it says includes four different layouts in one. Expand your layouts like never before. And I'm sure this will be very controversial for a long time because just with my opinion, this set, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. But this is going to be a set that is going to either be the best-selling the best selling bridges or tunnels in the, in the section. It's going to be the best-selling one or it's going to crash and burn. And what I mean by crash and burns, it's going to, they're going to sell it for two or three years not that many people are going to buy it. Okay, we're going to retire tire it like they do with most everything. Yeah, and I think it's going to crash and burn because just looking at it, it's like kind of like how are you going to get four different sections of your track right up there? It's kind of it's more confusing with my with the Natford station because of course with my series I have to configure it all around the Natford station because I have to have four different track lines of track going there. So it gets complicated, and then they have different ways you can use it, like that, which is kind of reverse. You can do it with hills, and then this is how I would probably use it in my series. I'd probably go like that, and i just put that thing in the middle somewhere else. Sutterary Swing Bridge is one thing I don't have, yet I really want. I could use that for a lot of things in my series. And then they kind of have some classic items up here. The Sutter Bay Bridge, still going strong, the Natford Cover Bridge. The Rumbling Bridge is kind of a copy of that right there they came out in the same year except of course that one I'm not sure if that one swings or not yeah it probably doesn't but it's it's very similar here's the collapsing sort of suspension bridge from seen in uh, calling all engines and then the quarry mine tunnel which has been around for a long time here's some more errors coming up here's calling the crane um which is new too it says works with all magnetic cargo which is kinda like cranky this right here is new it is the Sodor clockworks and it's pretty cool. I have to admit it. It is. This is going to be one of those things that I'm going to want to buy. It says Sodor Clock Tower. You can change the time. And it says Turn Crank to Hear the Tune. Probably has some Thomas Wooden Railway theme song or something like that. The Deluxe Water Tower. They're making deluxe versions of a lot of things. Haunted Mine. Uh, it's pretty cool. Because there's a track that goes that way. Right over here. And then there's a track that comes here. And there's a track that goes there. Here's Classic Cranky, as I like to call him. Toby's Windmill. That's pretty cool. I actually don't have that. That's pretty cool. And here we come up with to an air. Here's our first air. The All Aboard Station, featuring Sir Topham Hat. It says, visit Sir Topham Hat. Press buttons to hear what he has to say. And it says, you are a really useful engine. That's what he's saying. And as most of you know, I have this. I got actually like a week after it came out or something like that because I thought it was pretty cool. There's just course more errors um everything looks the same except the name and it's super hard to see on my camera because my camera is not that good mine says ellsbridge station see right here you know like the curve mine says ellsbridge station right there but this one here says vickers town station i know it's super hard but i'm not lying um if you get a 2009 yearbook you can see for yourself this does say vickers town station and i'm kind of mad and interested at the same time. I'm mad because, okay, I kind of just got cheated here because I bought the original one that says Ellsbridge Station, even though I already have the old style one. And, but I'm kind of interested because that's cool. They made up another station. So, um, we'll kind of have to see what it actually looks like in stores because I'll show you there's something else coming up here that might change your mind. Destinations continued. Here's the fire station. Scrub and Shine, the Lighthouse Bridge with Bolstrode. There's Bolstrode. Um, here's another cool thing, the Deluxe Railroad Crossing. I have this in my series, but um, mine says Hat Street Crossing up there, right there. Kind of like that ledge thing right there, except this one doesn't. Uh, it doesn't at all. In this picture, you can see kind of writing. You see, you see the two red lights right there, and right above it, there's kind of there's like white. That's the writing that says Hat Street Crossing. Cause let me see. Yeah, it says it on there, but it doesn't say it on here. So, oh well. 
the deluxe over the track signal just another deluxe version here's deluxe cranky of course they're gonna have the deluxe roundhouse of course and surprisingly I guess they're still selling the roundhouse the classic one like I have um and then the deluxe fire station this fire station actually is being retired I don't know why they put it in there but it's actually retired flipping the page uh, here's the tables and boards different things you can buy and this layout right here is pretty cool it goes it's on the table here with all the deluxe items of course and then it actually travels down to the ground here see the two kids playing that's pretty cool here we come for one of my favorite parts of the yearbook the layouts I just like looking at them and here uh, it's called the expanded quarry mine tunnel set and it has a lot of things so if you take the water tower figure 8 set plus the figure 8 set expansion pack plus the advanced figure 8 expansion pack you can make this cool layout right here um, you can probably go on the learningcurve.com see that's it learning curve just put them all together you can probably get blueprints for the layout and it has like what you need and everything this one is new it's called Soto Adventure because it uses some of the new stuff um, what it has is the track hazard mountain up there is actually where boulder sits um, of course I have like the boulder mountain or whatever it's called this one is different there's the stop and go station here we have the haunted mine and so on this is what this says what you'll need how many pieces and such and then here we have the all aboard station once again this set's called just all aboard this one's new as well but this one you can probably read it easier this one says Ellsbridge station but like I said back here oh too far <laughs> right here okay it says Vickers town get on this one oh not that one this one says Ellsbridge. Ellsbridge, Vickers Town. And so that's another air. So we're going to have to see what it's going to be when it comes out in the stores. If it's going to be Vickers Town, that's going to be great. If it's Ellsbridge, oh, well, then what was the, for, what was the excitement for? Um, and this just has what you need. That has the crossing, the water tower, and the olive board station. And then Busy as Can Be has been, it's been on the last couple of yearbooks, I think. It's at least in the 2008 one. They changed it this year, though, um, just a little bit, adding some more stuff. It's a pretty cool layout. Takes a lot of track, though, as you can probably tell. And that's the end. And then it just has uh, information guides, uh, the Parents Council on Learning Curve, that to come. So that is the 2009 Thomas, Thomas Wynn Railway yearbook review. Overall, I wasn't impressed. I was not. Um, thought they could have done a better job. A lot of airs. I didn't like the setup of, of it. Like, for example, like the engines here. You know, they're like spread out. And here we have the 2008 one. I just kind of brought it here just in case. I'll just skip ahead here. See, look, Donald and Douglas are in there with classic friends if you watch part one. And look how packed it is. I like that because it includes more, but a lot of people got cut. So you just kind of compare. I mean, and like they're, wa they're wasting paper to put it to summarize that and everything so uh, that's pretty cool it's pretty cool um, and I like it it's a, they did a good job but I'm just as a Thomas fan I'm not impressed at all I'm sorry to say hopefully the 2010 one will be a lot better so uh, thanks for watching this um, uh, this was just meant to give you some tips um, just give you a little information about the yearbook so hope you enjoyed it